Hey, welcome to Hollywood Happens. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. First in the news, Paris Hilton. She is just hours away from being released from jail and already through her publicist, Paris is saying we're going to see an all new woman. She says she's no longer going to hang out with bad influences or with bad people. I guess that means Paris and I won't be hanging out anytime soon. Next in the news, actor Tom Cruise. He was all set to do a World War II picture down in Germany, but German officials will not let him in the country. They say they they do not agree with Tom's religion, which is Scientology, and they consider it a cult. And they do not want him or his crew in the country. So Tom's going to have to find a new location to shoot that film. Next in the news, Rosie O'Donnell. She has said no to The Price is Right. She said an offer was made, and they offered her a lot of money. But she doesn't want to uproot her family, her wife, and her kids take them out of school and leave the town that she lives in to move to California. She says she doesn't need the money, she has plenty of it. Now I have a feeling she has something in the works with NBC and I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, next in the news, actor Tom Sizemore. On a previous show I reported that he had been arrested for drugs in Bakersfield, California. Well now he's been sentenced to 16 months in jail. The judge threw the book at him. He brought actor uh, Martin Sheen to court with him hoping the judge would be more lenient but all to no avail. So he got 16 months and he'll have to serve at least 8 months of that sentence. Hey, did you guys see a film this past weekend? If you did, you might have saw Evan Almighty. That brought in $32 million in its opening week. Also, a film called 1408 brought in $20 million in its opening week. The Fantastic Four, another $20 million for a grand total of $97 million. Ocean's 13 brought in another $11 million for a grand total of $91 million. And Knocked Up, the hilarious new comedy, brought in another $10.6 million for a grand total of $109 million. So if you went to see a film this past weekend, the box office wants to give you a great big thank you. Folks, on this day in history back in 1967, the Beatles recorded All You Need Is Love in front of an international audience. 400 million people watched as they recorded this song, along with Mick Jagger and Keith Richards and others singing Back Up on this day in 1967. In Celebrity Birthdays, singer Carly Simon turns 62 and Linda Cardellini turns 32. And I'm sure they're watching, so I just want to wish them both a great big old Hollywood Happens happy birthday. And shout outs, I want to do a shout out to Capo420420, that's C-A-P-O 420420. He is an awesome guitar player, so check him out. You will not be sorry. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to become a subscriber, it is so easy and it doesn't cost a dime. Do you see that orange button that says subscribe? Well, just click on it. And when you do, you'll get my videos as soon as I upload them. Hey, and if you like videos here on YouTube, it's real important that you rate the videos that you watch. And you do that by clicking on those stars. Well, that's it. I thank you for watching and I thank YouTube for providing this form that lets you watch. I'm going to have another show real soon. I promise you that. So until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you in Hollywood.